In this video, we'll cover how to use the drill down feature that is part of Office Connector Query. We'll start with an existing report that we want to add drill down capability to. In this case, we'll start with the standard cost to complete report that is available on the Office Connector Launchpad. The purpose of adding drill down will be to allow the user to see the details that support various column values for any given cost code. For example, Let's say we want to provide the ability to double click on the job to date cost value and then see a list of the cost transactions for that cost code. We'll accomplish this in two steps. Step one is to create the detail report that will show the transactions in the format that we want. Step two will be to apply the drill down function to the main report so that Office Connector knows how to run the detail report for any given row on the main report. Let's get started with step one. In this step, we'll start the creation of the transaction report by setting up parameter cells that will be used to identify the specific transactions that should be shown for any given row on the main report. In this case, that would be the extra and cost code because that's the scope of any given row on the main report. Next, we'll use the query wizard to add a query that shows the intended transactions. In the first step of the wizard, we identify the table that contains the transactional detail. Next, we identify the columns that we want to see from that table. On the conditions step, we'll include a condition based on the extra and cost code parameters from our worksheet. We also need to include a condition that limits the results to only cost transactions. Now for step two. In this step, we'll go back to the main report to add the drill down function that connects the two reports. We'll do this by inserting a new column that will show the job to date cost value and also support drill down. We'll then hide the original job to date cost column when we're done. On the first row of the new column, just type OC drill down, open paren, close paren, and then click on the FX button on the formula bar. Now we'll supply values for each one of the drill down function's arguments. The first argument is the display value. This is simply the value that we want to show, and in this case will be the value being shown in the job to date cost column that was already present. Specifying the value of true for the refresh action tells Office Connector to refresh the query on the detail report when the user double clicks a value. You can refer to online help for additional information about other acceptable values for the refresh action. Finally, we need to supply the arguments that link the main report to the detail report. This is done by providing pairs of arguments, where the first argument in a pair is a reference to a parameter cell on the detail report, and the second argument in a pair is a reference to a cell in the main report where the value should come from. In this case, the first argument would be the parameter cell for the extra on the detail sheet. On the main report, the extra value would be found in column A. We define the next pair of arguments in the same way. Identify the parameter cell for the cost code on the detail sheet. Then identify where the cost code value is at on the main report. This is basically telling Office Connector that when the user double clicks the cell, it should read the value from this location on the main report and put it in this cell on the detail report, then do the same for the next pair of arguments. After placing the values in the parameter cells on the detail worksheet, Office Connector will then refresh the query on the detail worksheet and activate that worksheet. To finish up, we'll copy this formula down to each row on the report and then hide the original column. Now let's take a look at drill down in action. With the drill down function in place, we can now double click any value in the job to date cost column and see the detailed cost entries. Notice that the parameters that control the results of the detailed query are automatically updated by the drill down feature just before it refreshes the query and activates the worksheet. Drill down can be applied to any number of columns, 
and you could even enable multiple levels of drill down from one detail worksheet to another to another. Finally, you should refer to the online help for additional information about suggested formatting for drill down enabled cells, and also for information about including a backlink on the detail worksheet. Thank mm -hmm. you.